Hello everyone. So just wanted to let you know that these are selling very fast. They are like the Starbucks cup that's a dupe. I actually have one that's pretty much like this one. This one has a little bit more pink shimmer, but I should share with you my Starbucks one. These are cute tumblers and I don't know if they have a good seal on the top, but let me know if it does. And these are great for the patio or around the pool so there's no glass breaking. Dollar Tree does have some spring, summer items. I guess the fishing game. I thought these were those little things that sunk to the bottom of the pool. But they have these little floaters. Aren't they the cutest? For their cup holders, I guess. I don't know if they work. But they are fun. Even as just like a decorative piece for a kiddo. I don't know. What could you hold it in instead of a drink? And the chalk actually works pretty well. I've had, I've purchased it over the years and I've had kids play with them and it never has a problem chalking up our area. Rocks, they, they sometimes chalk rocks and, and it always works nice. And this cute Star Wars Barbie. I don't know if these kites fly well that I haven't tried, but if somebody has any feedback on it, it always helps. I should actually grab some badminton rackets but oh my goodness check this out so if you hang something or want to use it as like a nice thick dowel you can just remove the end piece can cut it off it's a really nice piece of wood actually and instead of the plunger you know how sometimes people use the wood plunger the wood handle on the plunger you can use this one it's much nicer look what's back this took me right back to the playground when i was a kid we used to have light up one. Oh my gosh, and these do light up. Look, do you see it has, it tells you here it lights up and there's a little ball inside. So this Dollar Tree is well stocked too with florals, but I did find prettier ones at the other Dollar Tree. So it looks like I was just at a different Dollar Tree and I didn't spot all the summer items. There are these buckets. What is everyone using them for? They look like ice buckets, I guess, outdoor. Maybe you can put a few drinks in them. They have a variety of colors. And then they have all these beautiful outdoor table settings. These always tend to sell pretty quick. I think this is new. Serving tray. It's sturdy, it's pretty thick. Lots of cups with covers. I don't know how this opens exactly, but looks nice and sturdy. So we have a variety of prints of this new tray. This is nice and thick. It's good quality. This one's larger. Oh, but much flimsier. Look, you can even see the plastic moves. Great job Dollar Tree on making these new trays with the little handles. Quick look here at the baking supplies. Lots of little packets of sprinkles if you're doing some baking. Okay, I thought we'd go down the food aisle. I know some of you like to see items that I spot. I love S cookies. Is anyone else? They have some noodles here, different types. They have the large containers. They have the ones in the little plastic packaging. Lots of canned goods. I thought this was seaweed, but it's not. It's just the other noodles, dried noodles. So I'm finding that their canned goods are a little bit pricier than if I buy them on sale at the grocery store, so I've been avoiding buying canned goods here at Dollar Tree. If their price was lower, convenience, but I don't mind purchasing it at the grocery store. I've never seen these hollandaise packages before in Alfredo sauce. Lots of spices and oil as well along the bottom and vinegar. Really nice and neat and tidy, this store. It's a very well organized, so it makes it easy for me to share with you all the wonderful things here. This is a nice brand of pizza sauce, Aurora, but it's priced at $2. Is it worth it? I'm not sure. And many of you have given great reviews on the pizza crust. The 
paper towels, nice and organized. This looks like a new package. Ah, yes, stickers here. It's funny because my family, when I buy the thicker paper napkins for the table, they always like the thinner ones. What do you call this aisle? Like bath care? Because toiletries are in a different aisle. Makeup's in a different area. Toiletries are mixed in here, but what do we call this aisle? And this is a rare find. Vaseline with cocoa butter. Some facial brushes. Do they have new sleep masks here? I know I spotted some cute floral print ones. <laughs> they have little funny sayings. I guess self-care because it has like, there are toiletries here, deodorants, some little creams, bath salts, that type of stuff. Are your stores organized the same way as you see here? And then they have face masks as well, and the bath sponges, etc. I cannot get over how organized everything is. Just look how neat and tidy. I haven't seen this before. Hemp seed oil. I can't organize anything. Everything is perfect. Oh, this would be great for running now in the summer outside because it has reflectives. Oh my goodness, I was looking for, I wish that this had a clear handle, plastic handle, but I was looking for something like this in the Christmas season. And of course, when you're looking for it, you don't find them. Cute if you're an Elvis fan. And I don't know what this one here is or this brand, but they look like they're really nice socks. There's a few in a pack. Oh, these would be great for poolside or the beach. You put your cell phone in it or... I mean, don't take it in the water, but you get, I think, what I'm trying to say. In your bag so it doesn't get all sandy. Some great options here. Oh, this one's cute too. Summer vibes. Yeah, so they have the beach one. Good vibes only. Summer vibes. If you look to choose from. Maybe you've seen other ones that I haven't spotted here. And there are some more socks. These are Pillsbury brand, the first time I'm ever spotting them. Silicone spatula and then the mini spatula for cookies. It's a nice stainless steel, I guess. These are new kits. They're DIY crochet kits. My first time spotting such a great variety. I had seen, I think, one but maybe they sold so fast. Oh, actually, it was like this. They were little keychains. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then the fuzzy fabric. What are you guys doing with them? What are you making? It's really pretty and plushy. And then they have uh, like a plush pink. They have lots of flannel still left over. This was out of a few months ago. And then they have this one here for the spring summer plaid, bumblebees, little sunflower patterns, great fabric squares. It looks like somebody opened that one up. Oh, and they have the black plush. Oh, wow. This is new. Great score. Poly polyester fiber fill. These always trick me. Dollar Tree has been having these mats and they look so much like the cricket mats. And they even feel like them, like the thickness, it doesn't feel much thinner. So I was actually looking, I wanted to see some of their stickers. These are rub-ons and I know many of you are doing some lovely crafts with them. Have been rubbing them on to like, I know, a vase or something like that. And I don't know, I guess that's fun. I'm more of a paper crafter too. So I always look at neat little stamps and stickers for that purpose. And they have some really nice stamps here. You can make 
great birthday cards with them. And they have stamp uh, ink. All these little kits are great for organizing sequins. So like stuff like this. Actually, not quite this one, but the I'll show you. There's I think they have little packets here. To put this stuff in it so if you want to organize your colors that's how i organize mine and i love it so when you're making shaker pockets you just pull out your theme color and then mix your sequins these are pretty aren't they oh love these they're transparent at first i thought they were actually rub-ons but oh look at that what are they daffodils I love the little watering can with the flowers. So pretty. I don't know if I should grab a pack of these because I don't see them all the time anymore. And sometimes I don't need a huge piece of poster board. And I find that this size is easier for me to cut. Beautiful new fabric. I like the way they have it organized here as well. Really nice. These are like long, right? I think next time I pop in, I guarantee all of this will be gone. People just buy these fabric squares as soon as they hit the shelves. Such a great selection. Oh, this looks like a new print. It's got a little watering can with maybe eucalyptus floral. I'm not sure. I didn't see them last year. Same here. This one doesn't want to stay here. I think this is a pretty good selection when it comes to frames or wreath forms because sometimes this is completely empty. And they have lots of ribbon and little accent pieces if you're looking even lights like to string lights but they have unique lights as well if you want to do something totally different they have these little characters on them and this looks like it's part of the spring line lots of glass vases here oh these are plastic i got excited you can tell that they're plastic when you kind of look at them but aren't they beautiful i guess you could really trick the eye once there's water in them, right? Who could tell from afar? There's a couple options. These are new sponges, microfiber car wash sponges. So there's a, this one here has like a pocket slip. This one has just dual sided. It's suddenly gotten very busy here in Dollar Tree, but I just wanted to circle through and take a better look at the stickers because I felt like I was a little bit rushed as the aisle got busy. And there are some pretty stickers here at the bottom. Little pineapples. Does anyone scrapbook or make pocket letters? I've shared with you how to make pocket letters are like mini little versions of scrapbooking pages in little tiny pockets. They're quite fun. Let's see, these are their little poppies, right? But you can take apart sections of it if you prefer to use certain flowers. We have lots of gems. There's some almost looks like resin. No oh, resin. Oh my goodness. Resin art with little flowers. Check this out. These are acrylic sheets. So you just peel off the protective for Christmas, you guys are going to be making all sorts of things. This is, looks like a cute little fidget. And they have different color options. They always have fun little things here. And sometimes name brand stuff too. So don't hesitate to take a browse. It might feel a little overwhelming because of all the colors. These are squishies. But typically you will find, you know, you'll find a, a good little... Like something like this it's a little game they have uno cards sometimes i've found slinky the brand name slinky disney stuff is usually around 
these are new kitchen sets i just don't know the quality on them but they are a little box set and they have different items in them I'm so glad I came down the party aisle because I've never seen these before. It's a balloon hoop. I think it'll be really nice for my daughter's birthday setup. I'll do something cute. This looks like it's three feet. I don't think that's tall enough. Quick overview here of all the sandals and flip flops and outdoor toys. A couple more floaty type devices always knocking things over I'm not sure how secure this is or how long that mesh would last so just be mindful of that we have some slides these will sell really fast because they're trendy cute little pencil cases we typically see these like back to school time so I'm surprised to find them all here on display but maybe they're trying to some stuff out. These are new, by the way, with the little pencils with erasers. And some more random stickers and reward systems, it looks like. It's, uh, five one, five and some flashcards, it looks like, yeah. with the cat. So they've reorganized their makeup era, which I really appreciate because at one point they were kind of it was kind of scattered in end caps and stuff. These are all new brushes and they're really pretty. I'm just not sure what the brush tip will feel like, but I usually use them for my crafting <laughs> needs. So like just moving glitter around or um, static situation or flocking. So yeah, anyways, I always like looking at their makeup brushes. Let's just take a look here and see if there's any makeup that stands out to you. Most of it's all the stuff that I typically see. Nothing super new. When I see something new, I usually kind of point it out. Yeah, we've seen this eyeliner made by Ioni, which they have some really nice eyelashes that you guys speak highly of. I've never tried them myself, but I know that these sell really, really well. a heads up they do have a different uh sorry different varieties of these so i guess different scents but the lavender one was hanging on the peg oh my gosh how stinking cute are these the little bear they're mini backpacks which you can just clip them onto a large backpack but you can put loose change chapstick band-aids especially for a kiddo just to attach to their backpack I actually really like going through their clips because sometimes I'll deconstruct them and use them on my paper crafts, especially when they have cute little gems or charms. But they have a good selection of the banana clips as well. Is that what we call them still? <laughs> I'm dating myself. I have to share this with you. How cute if you use these little buckets like they're just little plastic ones they're flexible you can stuff them and make a cute little lupe you can add some tissue paper a chapstick maybe a little sweet treat or something and you have a perfect little lupe and they have a variety of colors here you can choose from anyways hope you enjoyed that idea but i'm going to share with you some of the clear stuff that they have going on i am yet to ever see those stackable containers that i bought years ago at dollar tree I hope you enjoyed walking through Dollar Tree with me today. So I want to say thank you so very much for watching. But before you go, I wanted to leave you with a couple clips. So these are from Dollar Tree and they are the fabric, you know, squares, I guess, cut up. And there's like 24 pieces of fabric, I think, per bundle. Then these here are the yard, one yard pieces. But what I wanted to share with you is I was at Michael's and I actually put some footage into the video as well to share with you. But some of the exact, these are the exact materials that I found at Michael's for, look at this. These are $16.99, the exact same. So here I am at Michael's sharing with you the exact same things we spotted at Dollar Tree. 
So just be mindful sometimes that you can score a fantastic deal and save a lot of money. These are wonderful if you're a quilter making quilts. I saw someone share that they had made the cutest skirts using a bunch of the patches. It's kind of like a patch skirt. Really cute. But you can make pillowcases and bags and all sorts of stuff, especially with the one yard packages. So let me share here. These are all at Michael's. And again, you will spot most of these were at Dollar Tree as well. The zebra print, the plaid, the hearts. Um, you'll just, yeah, you'll just recognize a few of them being there. There was some like garden, the cheetah print, the animal print. So again, if you go back in my video, you'll see the material from Dollar Tree. And I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I'll also leave you with a couple little things that I've been using uh, my Cricut machine to make and do paper crafts. So if you enjoy those types of tutorials, you can take a look at the last few videos of mine. They were mostly craft, crafting DIY stuff. And until next time, everyone, thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, bye for now. Just wanna watch them stars fall But you don't wanna try to make up dreams Just to be seen I wanna lay here beside you Oh quiet Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know it's where we go I grow wings and tell her goodbye oh, It's not what we see It's what we choose to be Some flowers, high grass and beer feet Second is a tree. Big, big, big. I keep my balance next to you. It's true. Nowadays, there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Boo. Fire breath and open sky. It's not what.